Hi and welcome to um, my new tutorial. If you haven't been here before, my name's Shelley and I love designing crochet things. Um, so today I thought we could make the first hat of the winter season as it's nearly upon us. And I'm using this um, cake yarn, which is available on Timu or AliExpress, or you can um, buy Karen's cotton cake yarn from lots of places online, but it's a bit more expensive. And this is a nice acrylic cotton mixture. It's stretchy, it's soft, and it's very pretty, obviously. Um, so let's get started. Now, the good thing about this hat is that there's not really any counting involved. So you want to chain and whoever the hat's for, if it's for yourself or if it's for somebody else, you need to make sure that the chains reach from the crown of your head to the tip of your nose. Um, and that way there can be a, a turn up for the bobble hat. So just chain enough so that they reach from the crown of your head to the tip of your nose. Or whoever you're making it for. And then when it's, when you're making the hat, because it's, um, it's knitted kind of like in a, crocheted in a strip kind of panel, um, so then you just, to, to know when it's the right size, you just need to, to put your work that you're doing and make sure it fits around your head, which is different. I have a big head. I know some people have very small heads. So that's why I'm doing the tutorial this way because it's very um, personalized. So I've done 53 chains, um, 51 was about the right length and so I've added enough, another because we're going to be tripling into the third chain from the hook and then we're just going to treble into each chain to the end of the row. And just continue to work a treble into each chain. So now you need to, um, from this end, this end put, put um, on the, sort of hold with your finger onto the crown of your head. And then with this end, fold back to round about where you'd like your turn up to be and then count the stitches. So for me, it's going to be 24 stitches. And for those 24 stitches, we're going to be working into the back loop. So chain two, and then treble into the back loop of the next stitch, and into the next stitch. And for me, I'll be doing 24 treble into the back loop. And so for the rest of the row, we're going to miss the next stitch and then we're going to work a V stitch, two trebles into the next stitch. Miss a stitch and three treble, two trebles. What am I talking about? I'm going mad. Miss a stitch and two trebles into the next one. Miss a stitch and two trebles into the next one. And just continue that 
sequence the end of the row and finish with a treble into the turning chain and end the row with a treble crochet into the turning chain, chain two and turn. So this time around we're going to make a wobble by going in four times and then pulling through all of the loops and finishing with a chain. So one, pull through, two, pull through, three, pull through, four, pull through and then bring the yarn through all the loops and close with a chain stitch. So yarn over, hook through, yarn over and pull through once, twice, three, four times and close with a chain. So just continue working a bowl into all the V stitches and when you get to the the ribbed bit you're going to just work into a treble into the back loop of all the trebles on that bit last bit and finish with a treble into the turning chain and then we're going to chain two and turn and the third row of the pattern is simply working into the back stitch of every stitch from the beginning to the end. So into the, the rib part and also um, into the back of the bubbles and the stitch between. And that's the three rows of pattern, which you will be repeating until the hat um, feels not too loose and not too snug around your head. And that is going to be long ways. So you're going to be working that way until it fits around your head. So I've tested this, it fits around my head nicely, slightly stretched and um, you should be left with something that looks a bit like this and we're on the wrong side because the tail of the yarn is on the right so the next thing to do is to double over and just sew a seam lengthways and join the piece together. So now the next step is to draw a cord through the top of the hat. So try and use quite small-ish stitches because it will look a lot neater. So now we're going to pull it really, really tight, as tight as you possibly can. And then tie, tie together. Not several times, pulling tight with each knot. And then trim with the scissors. 
turn your hat the right way around. So I'm going to be putting a pom-pom on top of this hat, so feel free to do so yourselves if should you wish. And there you have your finished hat and all it needs is a pom-pom and you can use the same pattern to make a matching scarf so um, chain as many stitches as you need um, to drape around your neck and um, however long you want your scarf to be and then just use this pattern um, for the lengthwise rows and you'll have a matching scarf too.